What is up everybody? Welcome to the first ever video on this channel. I'm extremely excited to do this and it's going to be really fun. But anyway, without any more talking, we're going to do a quick setup tour. And yeah, let's get it started. Let's get it started with the mouse pad. $10 and Amazon, cheap. Moving on. All right, so this is the NPEC keyboard. It, it comes in around about 20 bucks. It's fake mechanical. Pretty garbage keyboard in my opinion, but it does the job if you need a gaming keyboard and don't have a tight budget. And moving on to the head, not headset, mouse. This is the Razer Mamba Terminal Edition, 16,000 DPI. Really nice mouse for right handed users. Comes with two side buttons. It's very grippy. And the LEDs on it look sick. And it has a good sensor as well. So, next we have the headset. This is a Steel Series RTS5 gaming headset. And I can tell you from experience, this thing is com comfortable. You can game for hours on end with this bad boy. And the couple buttons on the side there's a U button which is obviously to mute your audio and that is the dial for volume adjustment and that can come out if you'd ever need it to for storage purposes and it goes red once you mute it so this is the snowball mic it comes with a boom arm and a pop filter if you get it in a bundle like i did and yeah pretty nice moving on this is the monitor slash tv because it is a tv by insignia and you can see here it is a TV based on the buttons on the side, but it does get the job done. It is full HD 1080p quality, and yeah, it does a nice job. This is the Amazon Echo Dot, and it's $50. You guys probably already know what this is, but it's very nice to have in handy. Ask it anything, probably knows. This is a Bluetooth speaker, carry, carry it everywhere I go, and when I'm not using it, I have it on my setup, so I thought I'd include it. And yeah, pretty nice speaker all around. And good for blasting music. And overall, this setup is nice, but there is room for upgrading. So that's what I'm going to be talking about next. So yeah, I will see you on the computer. Alright guys, so we are on the computer. And this is the PC. I'm going to go this pretty quickly because I don't want to talk too much about it. But we have the AMD Ryzen 5 2600X, 3.6 GHz, boosts up to 4 to 4.2, and 6 cores. And this Core Master Hyper 2 4 will be plenty good, cool, to be able to overclock this bad boy. And this is the ASUS Rock B450M Pro 4 Monterey Jix and 4 Motherboard. And has 4 DIMM slots and 2 graphics card slots, so I have room for upgrading. And this is the T4 Stealth RGB 16GB DDR4 3200. Really fast. Good. Will help me edit. Plenty fine. Be able to open all my Adobe needs or whatever. And for storage, we have a 1TB hard drive and a 250GB M.2, which is ultra lightning speed. This is a really fast drive. And for the video card, I have a Gigabyte Radeon RX 570. 4 gigabytes of memory. Tackle any game I throw at it on high to epic settings and epic for Fortnite if you didn't know that. But this is the for the case I have a Aerocool Cylon which has a dope RGB strip down here that looks amazing. Very cheap, only around coming around 50 bucks and, and fits my PC. So it's a must right there. Oh, and forgot to mention. Oh, it doesn't have any pictures, but on the top it has an SD card reader, which is rare for most budget cases, or any cases at all. And that could be really handy for me, because I do have a camera, obviously. And then there's the EVG, EVGA, sorry, bronze 500 watt, bronze certified, obviously, and should get the job done. It's only bronze, but it will work. I am certain it will work. And it's a solid power supply, we'll get the job done. And it's at a nice price tag, only $50. It's 
So let's move on with the mechanical keyboard. It is real mechanical unlike mine, but it is off-brand, so that's a downside. But still better than my fake mechanical. So this is a nice keyboard in my opinion. It's got that cool gamers font and 81 key version for more mouse room. And it has art in it. There's no software, but it has like in program programmable buttons here. And um, yeah, pretty solid keyboard. So let's move on to the mouse. I don't know why it's not clicked on. But this is the Logitech T502 Pro Spectrum RGB. 12,000 DPI is a downgrade from 16,000 DPI. But it does have weight, so I can adjust the weight and five side buttons opposed to the two that I had before on the side at least and yeah I just love the look of it so that's going to be it for the screen recording bit of this so yeah see ya alright guys so sadly that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button subscribe leave a comment down below if you have any questions or concerns and yeah see you in the next video